Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Hoffman's Mineral Vlog. Um, a little bit dark in here, I apologize. And um, I gotta figure out a way to do these in uh, full HD. I, I just record this on the um, photo booth app on my Mac, and then I slap it into YouTube, and then it's, oh, oh air conditioner. And then it's always um, SD. If anybody knows how to change that S to an H, I gotta be right back. Shut up, air conditioner. I'm recording a mineral vlog. Hoffman's mineral vlog. HMV. HMV. Cause it's HMV. It's out of sight. HMV. It'll win the fight. HMV. Drink a lot of water. HMV. All right, that's the song. Copyright ACDC. ACDC's. TNT. So many letters in one song. We got a big day today on Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, but first, uh, today's date. I like to keep the date. June 16th. Big ups to the Nets. The Brooklyn Nets. I'm not going to fib and make it sound as if I'm a big sports fan, but I am aware when my local teams are doing well, they were down. They had the big three. I don't know their names. One of them is named Irving. They had the big three, and then one got injured, and then one got injured, but still played, I guess. they had. So they had the big one and a half, and they beat those rotten bastards, those godforsaken Milwaukee Bucks. Tip, tip, tip. May they rot. How dare they stand between the Brooklyn Nets and their righteous claim at the championship. So uh, get out of the way. And it looked like they were down. It looked like the Nets were all over. I didn't watch any of this, by the way. I found that after the fact. But I support the Nets because some of my friends love the Nets. And they're... You got to support the Brooklyn Nets, right? Uh, first, they were the New Jersey. First of all, because they're called the Nets. It's like, oh, what are we? It's like they were sitting around. Oh, shit. We got to think of a name. And they're at the, um, they're in the uh, auditorium. Uh, not auditorium. What do they call it? Um, the gymnasium. Or whatever. Wherever they play basketball. They're sitting around going, oh, Christ. We need a name. We need a name. Uh, the uh, Nets. Yeah, let's do it. The Brooklyn Nets. First, they were the New Jersey Nets. I saw them many times, the New Jersey Nets. I've seen the Brooklyn Nets once. I've seen, I don't care for sports. It's not my thing. Um, but I have seen every team play. Uh, I've seen the, the Nets. I've seen the Knicks live. I've seen uh, the Devils, the Rangers, the Islanders. I've seen the Yankees, the Mets. Oh, did I see the Mets? And I saw... Um, I will say one or two, and I saw the Giants. Maybe I never saw the Jets. I never sunk that low. Could you imagine being the Jets, the worst team? First of all, now I know they play at a different stadium, MetLife Stadium, which is, they all have sponsorship names, most of them. <clears throat> but could you imagine the cuckoldry of the Jets? Your whole life you play at Giant Stadium. They're sharing. And they're not even from New York. They're from New Jersey, but so is the Giants, too. They're the New Jersey Giants and the New Jersey Jets. Accept it. Accept it. Why are they the New Jersey Nets, but the New York Giants, when they play back in the old days, 25 uh, feet from each other? The Nets were in the Brendan Byrne Arena, now called something else, and the Giants were in the, the Giants Stadium, same parking lot. Ridiculous. The Jets were such failures and, were, and will still retain... The patina of failure for so long because they played at Giants Stadium. Uh, and today, actually, the New York Jets and the New York the New York Jets and the New York Giants should also be ashamed. They share a stadium, MetLife Stadium. There's no sharing in sports. That's the whole goddamn point of sports: is to defeat, is to conquer, is to vanquish your foes and plant your flag and 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 and, and assume authority and superiority. That's, if you can make any argument for the value of sports, it's that it allows us a safe outlet for these sort of base, uh, you know, uh, primal urges of destruction and, and superiority. Uh, you know, you don't want to do that in life. You want to be fair. You want to be kind. But, you know, you can turn that part of your brain <coughs> off and sort of find a, a, a healthy channel for this uh, need for aggression and really root for the fucking Jets or the fucking Giants. But you can't do it if they're sharing MetLife Stadium, MetLife Insurance. Mm, that's also wussy. I hate insurance. There should be no insurance. Go outside. You get hurt. God damn it. Deal with it. Insurance. 
I hate insurance. I pay insurance. We all pay insurance. There should be no insurance. Just do it. Live. And if you get hurt, then pay. But it shouldn't be so expensive. Oh, my God. You break your leg in America? Uh, you know, you're in debt for 100 years if you don't have insurance. What a country. The, the, New, York, the New York Jets and the New York... New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. Not that New Jersey's bad. I love New Jersey. Asbury Park, greatest city in America. The New Jersey Nets, uh, Jets and Giants share a stadium like a bunch of little little uh, commies ridiculous ridiculous they should kill each other they should cross one time in the locker room they're showering in the same shower oh are you done showering mr jet no i'm still showering mr giant they should one day cross each other and then beat the hell out of each other i don't mean that they're probably friends they probably leave each other little notes do they have the same lockers does, like, the quarterback of the Jets, whose name I'll never know, have the same locker as the quarterback of the Giants? He should. They should share a locker. And the Jets will be on the bottom because they suck. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly kidding. All right. Today's water is Galvanina. Galvanina. It's all about the Pixies. Galvanina. It's from Italy. Hey. Come on over. Drink some of my Galvanina water. Hey. Galvanino water is from the uh, kind of central Italy. Um, by the way, I was kidding with all that violence. I'm not a violent man. That was all a joke. But that's the point of sports is you can kind of let it out. You can let it out a little bit, you know, and that's why sports is probably good. Not that I watch it at all. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. What should be my sports? I guess basketball is the best sport. I'll root for the Nets. I'm already rooting for the Nets, but like next year when it starts fresh. All right, Galvanina is from the middle of uh, Italy, not too far from the city of Rimini, and not too far from the, so the, the sovereign nation of San Marino. Can you believe that? Now, it says here, Galvanina, uh, uh, um, produced in, Jesus, bottled in Italy since 1910. So figure 10 more years and Gerard de Perdue and... Um, is is getting uh, the the double hand job with um, De Niro in 1900. <laughs> That's all I remember from the movie. I remember th two things from the movie 1900. Three things, four things. It's really long. Sterling Hayden is in it. There's the double hand job, and I think like um, Donald Sutherland kills a cat with his head. I saw it a long time ago. I saw it. You know where I saw the movie 1900? The one and only time I saw it. It's going to shock you because I don't have any information. I rarely do anything outside of my own town. I saw that at the Brattle Theater in, I guess, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Is that where the Brattle is? How the hell did that happen, you want to know? Well, that's another episode. I spent five hours at the Brattle Theater watching 1900 in the year. Oh, my God. I, I, I guess it was I guess it was 1991. Ah, sunrise, sunset. This is a beautiful bottle. This is a beautiful bottle with a nice kind of a Art Nouveau style. They were really, I mean, this this is probably what, it, it's probably a, a nice fact. I mean, you can't really see it, but you got to trust me that this is a beautiful, if I were to fill this with sand, you'd really see it. It's really nice. This is probably very similar to what it looked like in 19, 1910. It's really nice. All right, let's give it a try. I've never had Gal Galbanina, um, but from my from my sense is that's pretty popular over there. Although I've been to Italy, not that much of a bub of a bub, and not yesterday's. What did we have yesterday? The Mountain View was going nuts. So this is pretty mellow, but that doesn't always tell you what it's going to taste like. Yeah, it's a mellow water. A mellow water. You come to me, you drink a mellow water. Okay, here's what's interesting about this. Um, it is a mellow amount of fizz. It's not punchy. I forget, what, what did I have yesterday? The Mountain View and that one, some of the other ones that have a lot of bubbles. Mountain View had a lot. Um, obviously, Topo Chico has a tremendous amount of bubbles. Um, 
the the one from the Andes Mountains uh, had a lot of bubbles. I, I, there was one other that was really like aqua. Oh yeah, aqua carpatica, carpatica from uh, Romania. That also had a lot of bubbles. This does not. However, however, it has a lot of flavor. It has good mineral flavor. It tastes like mineral water. Yeah, it's got a nice minerally flavor. It's got a few rocks in there. You suck on a few rocks. It's got like a motor car down here. I don't know if you can tell. But this em embossment, is that a word? Embossment? Is that a real word? This embossment is like a Model T. Hey, get out of the way. Yeah, I'm bringing the mineral water. That's how Italians in Italy talk to one another. Ugh. It's good. It's good, man. So I'm not going to drink the whole thing because I had breakfast already. I'm not going to drink it all now. But I want to sum up because we're getting along. A, I apologize for all the shouting about the Jets. They're fine people. I'm sure they don't share lockers. They shouldn't be violent to each other. And I want everybody to be happy. That's number one. Number two... Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Pardon me. Number two, this is a good water. I can't say that like I'm doing uh, cartwheels about it. But I'm going to say between the flavor and the design, which this video is not. I need to get good lighting and really express. Maybe I got to do like that. I got to really give you a sense I think when you put it all together, you show up with this at a party. It's like, oh, did you bring wine? Um, oh, no, I didn't bring water, but I brought a, I brought a few bottles of mineral water. Clunk. Oh, cool. All right, great. Mix it out with a little gin. We're in business. Um, I'm going to overall give it an A- minus because it's from all the way in Italy, 1910. Keep Italia in your heart. Let it always be a part of you. I love Italy, man. I feel like I'm a little bit Italian. I'm not Italian at all, but I grew up in a neighborhood in New Jersey that was all Jews and all Italians and one Chinese family. Um, you know, I never met a Protestant until I went to college. Uh, and it was, so I have a lot of Italian heritage in me. Like my, my aunts and uncles, they're not, you know, my aunt, you know, hey, my uncle Mike, he's not really my uncle. But, you know, all the, that, there are as many Italians as Jews. So I feel very comfortable with Italian-Americans. Um, and that's how it is in New Jersey. Therefore, I have a little, I have a little love for the old country. You know? Oh, yeah. Terrific. All right, great stuff. Listen, a little bit longer today, but that's what you get. You get what you pay for on this vlog, and this vlog is free. I hope you have a great day. I've got a few things i got to do. I'm going to vote tonight, so we'll probably talk about that tomorrow. And um, I, uh, what else can I, oh, shit. Oh, it's got an email i got to respond to. Okay, got to go. Talk to you later. Bye.